And next, we're going to have a swearing in um, of all of our newly elected officials uh, by the Honorable Judge Susan Adams. And it looks like I'm first, and then we'll have the council members. <laughs> I, Ronald Frederick, do solemnly swear. I, Ronald Frederick, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution and laws. That I will support the Constitution and laws. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the state of Washington. And the state of Washington. And ordinances of the city of DuPont. And ordinances of the city of DuPont. And that I will, to the best of my judgment. And I will, to the best of my judgment. Skill and ability. Skill and ability. Truly, faithfully. Truly, faithfully. Diligently and impartially. Diligently and impartially. Perform the duties of mayor. Perform the duties of mayor. Of the city of Dumont. Of the city of Dumont. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. service 
will be a priority for me in 2020. These important elements are instrumental in building mutual trust in our community. We are looking at ways to enhance communication and customer service. With uh, multiple platforms like our website, social media, newsletters, email, parks and recreation bulletin, and that little blurb on our utility bill. <laughs> we are all ears from you for any other ideas that you might have. Finance is an essential element of our city government. The city finance team manages a budget in excess of $16 million. The finance team works hard to maintain our credit rating and our clean financial audits from the state. Their work makes it possible for the city to operate and prosper. As we move forward, we will be financially conservative in our expenditures and build up our reserves because we need to be prepared for the next financial downturn. DuPont Selcom Road will be expanded from two lanes to four lanes from Wharf Road to exit 119. Construction funds were secured in the state's next biannual budget for 3.9 million. Currently, I-976 has stalled the funding for this project. And we await the court decision or legislative action to proceed forward. I am in contact with our legislators and working to get that money released as part of the next biannual budget. Public safety is the backbone of security and quality of life in our community. As a result of an aggressive recruiting campaign led by Chief Doug Newman and Deputy Chief Ted DeHart, the DuPont Police Department has, for the first time in several years, filled all budgeted positions. These new hires are a tremendous asset to our city and our public safety mission. More work needs to be done. Budget and staffing levels for the police department are still 38% below the national and regional average for a city our size. The DuPont Fire Department provides us with quality emergency firefighting services. In 2020, DuPont Fire will focus on expanding its capacity with enhanced training in hazardous materials response and wildland firefighting. As we experienced last summer, we are one dry and breezy, way, breezy day away from a brush fire that could reach our neighborhoods. DuPont Fire is ready. Providing advanced life support services to the city remains an issue of debate. Moving forward, we will continue to evaluate the best way to provide those services. As part of my Mayor's Committee initiative, we will have a new ALS Committee to help find the solutions. Community development remains an important issue. In 2020, we will begin the multi-year process of updating our comprehensive plan to enhance the community's vision for the city. In order to ensure that all the elements of the plan are coordinated, development regulations will also be updated to reflect the comprehensive plan with an emphasis on preservation and protection of historical and cultural sites. The Mayor's Historical Preservation Committee will also be active to provide the advice and research concerning other initiatives that will be necessary to preserve our valuable historical resources. Tourism benefits communities big and small, and DuPont has much to offer. While our city boasts wonderful trails and historical sites, golfing remains a key tourism draw for the city. Golf attracts nearly 40,000 visitors to DuPont on an annual basis. City staff is actively encouraging national golf organizations to consider DuPont and the home course to host tournaments. We are pleased to announce the 2021 NCAA Western Region Division II Golf Championships 
and the 2021 USGA Men's Amateur Four Ball Championship will be hosted at the home course. Quality of life is what brought so many of us to DuPont. Parks and recreation is an important factor for quality of life. The Parks and Rec Department will continue to enhance the city recreational programs, but we are running out of space. We will look at all options to remedy the situation, including the use of the current community center in the historic village. The city will continue to work with Parks, P-A-R-C-S, our local nonprofit, whose volunteers have already been doing amazing work for the city. Volunteerism is key for my administration. We have a core of great volunteers, and they have done wonderful work. There will be more opportunities. During the campaign, I discovered that we have many extremely talented and skilled people living right here in DuPont. I need your input and engagement with the city. The city staff and council have plates that are very full. I am new to city government, so I need the assistance of all the great thinkers in DuPont. What do some of our historical figures say about volunteering? Martin Luther King said, Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Muhammad Ali said, service to others is the rent you pay for your room here on earth. St. <laughs> Francis of Assisi said, start by doing what's necessary and do what's possible. <laughs> and suddenly you are doing the impossible. <laughs> I will be offering more opportunities for you to volunteer. That is the reason I'm establishing the Mayor's Committees on various subjects like ALS, Ethics, Economic Development, and Historical Preservation. I am working with our City Attorney to ensure that these committees are set up appropriately with maximum transparency. These committees will essentially do research to provide advice and recommendations to the Mayor. They will find the best practices, and I'm hopeful for the outcome. I served on such a committee myself under Mayor Jenkins about a decade ago concerning research on Sequoia Creek. The current good news about volunteerism is that many of you have already stepped up. We currently have five volunteers for the Planning Commission with just three vacancies to fill. Planning Commission Chair Corey Wright and myself have already interviewed the candidates, and we will forward our recommendations shortly. During the interviews, Chair Corey Wright and I were very impressed with the quality of volunteers that have come forward. In conclusion, my view is that the glass is half full, not half empty. We have a great little city, and that small town feel described uh, in our comprehensive plan. I want to keep it that way. We have a family-friendly environment. I want to keep that as well. We are next to Puget Sound with miles of wonderful trails. We have great neighbors who care for each other. Do we have issues? Sure. Do I have all the answers for those issues? Certainly not. But it's my hope that we can all work together to address those issues. Well, I'm, I'm kind of running low on my word count. So I want to thank everyone for being here tonight, for listening, for your participation in city government. Uh, at this time, we'll have another opportunity for public comments, and then we will adjourn for a uh, reception and refreshments. Thank you, and good evening.